What is going on guys, Winnie City Bass in here. About 40 degrees or so. I have a feeling that these fish are gonna be biting today. So follow me along, let's go see what we can catch. All right guys, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start off with the bait. This little Lucky John Vicara that I got in my mystery tackle box. It's a little lipless crankbait. Let's start walking down this bank. This is the wind blown bank and we're gonna see what we can catch. Okay, there we go. Man, did he hit it hard. It's not even a big fish. Well guys, I thought I had a giant on, but it's a little guy, that little Vicar there. Dude, he hit it so hard. I literally thought I had like a four or five pounder. I was, I was about to get all giddy. He's maybe even, not even a pound. Oh, I'm hooked. These hooks are sharp. Well, there he goes. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tie on a little I got the perfect bait. I got this in a mystery tackle box. It's a little blade bait. It's got a blade, like a, a willow leaf blade on the back. I also got this thing from mystery tackle box too. I use this all the time. Oh, these are some sharp hooks. Pretty sure that I'm going to hook myself at some point with this. Ah, like right there. What did I say? Five seconds later, what do I do? This is a really good cold water bait. It's got a really tight wiggle. On a day like today where there's some wind, there's some chop, that little willow leaf blade might give some extra shine that these fish want. Oh, God, I'm hooked again. I should be able to cast plenty far. Let's give this a shot. I'm I'm curious. Oh yeah, plenty far. First cast. First cast. First cast with this little blade bait that I got in one of my mystery tackle boxes. I don't know what it was, maybe uh, December or January. Look at that. Nice little blade bait. You know, I don't throw them enough. Today, it just seemed like these fish were a little bit non-committal and maybe needed to have that presentation shrunk. And so that's what we did. Let's get some more. I'm now feeling pretty confident. Whoa, buddy, whoa. That was pretty acrobatic. There's a fish. Wow, what a light bite. It's just pure mush. Pure, pure mush. That's right, mush. Not a big one. Not a big one at all, but hey, it's fish number three. Pure mush. There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Felt like, felt like weeds. Mushy bite, okay. I'm really feeling this blade bait at the moment. I mean, all right, so this is gonna be right along the weed line. Oh, I maybe set the hook too hard on that. I felt it. He hit it on the drop. He hit it on the pause. Oh, oh my God. Fish right here. And I'm for sure going to get hung up in the weeds, but there we go. I felt him hit on the drop. Hit it on the drop. Another little guy, but he hit on the drop. That's another telling sign. We're putting together the puzzle pieces. I love puzzles. That fish fell off right here because I basically shore flipped him and uh, that hook bent out. I think I got another one. Oh, nope. Another one, another little guy. I think we figured something out here. It's, it's the action. It's all about the action. And the action is we need to be pausing, pausing that bait and letting it fall. And I'm feeling these fish hit it on the pause. Two fish, two casts. I think we're on to something. Blade baiting, blade baiting. Man, this hook is, at some point I think I need to go swap some hooks. Oh, bud. I figured out a pattern. I figured out a pattern. Oh, oh, that was 100% a bite. 
Holy cow, 100% a bite. Water on the lens there. Probably just made it a thousand times worse. Oh my goodness. I just got hit so hard right here, right in front of me. I don't even know how I missed it. This is this is fun. I, I you know I don't throw a blade bait a ton, so I mean like this is new. Well, not new, but I mean it's it's fresh. This is the bait we've been catching them on. This is a Ketchco Death Stalker. I don't know if you can see it a little better. It's a little blade bait with a willow leaf blade on the back. So we get some wind. We got fish that are pretty lethargic today. And so what we're doing is we're doing some yo-yoing. Now the first fish just hammered it, just straight reeling it in. But it took a while to kind of figure out what kind of retrieve they want. And they are hitting it on the fall. I'm basically casting it out as far as I can, letting it fall a little bit and then ripping it up. Ripping it up with the rod, reeling down. What I'm feeling for is a tick on the fall. It seems to be working thus far. Let's see if we can catch a few more and prove my point here. All right, well, the plan was we were gonna catch another one on the blade bait. However, these fish are getting a little tricky. So we're gonna have to switch it up again, find out what they want. I know these fish are here, I know it. I might go with a smaller blade bait. I might tie in a little underspin. I might freeze because of this dang wind. Holy cow. Let's do it. Okay, we're taking off the blade bait for the moment. And we're gonna tie on something that I don't know if I would really throw very often in conditions like this, but I need something that is not gonna get hung up and I can really, really creep along. I have no idea whether this is gonna work. This might be a big profile, so I don't know. We're gonna have to see. There we go. Well, that answers that question. I wasn't sure whether this is gonna work, but I think second or third cast and we got one. So this is a little inline spinner. It's a big Colorado blade and one single hook to keep it weedless. We got one fish already, so. Okay, a couple casts in. These fish are not very bright. So we just caught our first on this little bait. And I, I throw these up in the Wisconsin River for smallmouth. But I wanted something with some flash because of the wind. I wanted something that was gonna be weedless. So in this case, not a treble hook. Um, and something with a small-ish profile. And something I can, I can really slow down the presentation. And actually I'm probably reeling in too fast right now. Oh, nope. Might have been weeds. May have been some weeds. I don't see any. Oh my goodness. All right, another one. Gosh, they're all cookie cutter. I mean, they are small fish, but I'm catching fish and it is freezing. Why do they keep coming back on the bank? Every fish turns around. They don't just swim away. They, he turns around and comes right back. Again, it's just constant. All day long, it's been just needing to figure out what they want. Figure it out, figure it out. It's one of those days where you do feel like you've become a better angler. I'm just, oh, no, 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 no. no. Dang it, I got bit. Slow rolling. And that's why we've we've changed it up so much today. There we go. Hey, we're just, that's probably the biggest one of the day too. <laughs> biggest one of the day is not much not saying much, because this is not a big fish. Alright guys, let's let this little guy go. Another one on the uh, the inline spinner. Whoa, it's been an interesting day. My nose is running. It's cold. But we're starting to figure something out here. I've said that like four times today. 
All right, go into the jerk bait. Hasn't worked all day long. So I'm putting my faith back into something I know. Oh, and that's not good. That is not good. Ooh, that was a bite. I got one. Okay, first fish on the jerk bait, out in the middle. Well, finally, it only took all day. We got one on the Vision 110. All right guys, well we might have just figured something out. We finally got our first fish on the jerk bait. Maybe the smallest fish of the day. Kind of a little derpy looking fish. It's been a tough day trying to figure out what they want, but we found a lot of baits at work. I'm gonna call this video probably the pre-spawn puzzle. We had to figure them out and it was constantly changing throughout the day. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like videos like this, if you like to hear what I'm thinking as I'm going through the process of what I'm going to throw, where I'm throwing it and why, make sure to leave a like below. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's something I should be doing, different baits I should be trying. Uh, you guys fish too. So I wanna hear from you guys as well. As always, please subscribe to the channel. It makes this all the more worthwhile. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is Windy City Bassin signing out. Let's let this little guy go. Let's see if he's as stupid as all the other ones today. What kind of acrobatics he does. Oh, yep, like I thought. I feel bad for him. There's, there's a bite. Yep. Good fish. Whoa, okay. This is going to be a hook in the hand issue. There we go. All right, another jerkbait fish. Of course, jerkbait's hooked in my hand. He's not very big. Okay, I, I can't release you guys any more towards the water. Oh, there we go. There's another one. All right, there we go. Another fish. There's a, there's a bite. Holy cow. Okay, guys. These are not big fish at all, but the jerkbait bite is on.